All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Tisman, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, we have an unboxing for you. This comes by way of Monterey Bay Knives, and guys, this is the Knives Fast channel. Uh, if you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that subscribe notification bell, and if you're not following me over here on Instagram, we're almost at 3,000 followers uh, at the time of this recording, so please hit that, get us over the top, and uh, yeah, fun place. So this is something I purchased uh, from Monterey Bay Knives. I'm going to use my Quiet Carry 9 today, uh, just switching it up a little bit here, um, and we will just zap that open and see what we've got. All right, so we have got a new Monterey Bay knife. Very, very cool. Now, you guys know uh, that I had, uh, yeah, you might know, I had a Monterey Bay Knives uh, mini old guard, and it was just a bit too small for me. Uh, plus, I wanted to do something kind with it, so I uh, sent it along to a friend, and uh, they're enjoying it. I uh, always said I wanted to get a full size. Well, uh, I think I've done that, except this time, they have come out with, by the way, you get extra two extra clips and you get some extra screws. Uh, so they have come out with, and as a matter of fact, on the box right here, you can see $65 plus tax. So uh, this is a Monterey Bay knife that is a budget-friendly uh, knife. This is the full-size Old Guard. Um, wow, okay. I'm trying to get all this back in the package. All right. Full size old guard in G10 and 14C28N. All right, all right. Uh, and a, um, uh, wow, a uh, wire pocket clip. Wow, why can I not get that out of my mouth all of a sudden? That was weird. It is not reversible, but it does have a lanyard hole. You have also a G10 backspacer, yep. Uh, thumb studs is your opening method. You have contour G10, which you can really see uh, with the contouring there and the the um, the layering. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Listen, oh yeah, coming out of there real good, locked up, really nicely. Good access to the lock bar. Yes, sir. I am digging this one very, very much. So this is very nice. Um, Nice size for me. You can see room left over. Nice flat landing spot. Don't need jimping, in my opinion. Nice satin blade. Uh, clip point here. Beautiful looking blade. Nice long blade. Uh, like that a lot. Just for comparison, I had my pinion out here. Uh, the my the my card pinion. This is an eight inch knife, and we are just over that with the Monterey Bay Old Guard. Maybe like eight point one or eight point two. Um, and very nice. Now they do have the mini old guard in this same configuration in all three. I mean, both of them are in black G10, white G10 and, uh, Jade. These are 65. The minis are only 60. Uh, yep. You heard me correctly. So go over there again. You do pay tax, uh, you know, and shipping. Uh, but you know, that's the way it is. All right. We're going to do a second one in this same video. And then I'm going to stop for a minute so Ashlyn can clean the rabbit's cage. She's sitting over here staring at me. So uh, this I've already opened, guys, um, because I, w I couldn't wait any longer. Uh, this came in, and let's look at the first thing that was in here. Now, uh, this box is going to be empty, but it's going to have a card in here. It's going to say Sage Grouse Leather. That's right. I finally uh, got myself a slip. You guys, there's this information. Check out River over there. We've had him on the uh, live stream before. Awesome, awesome dude uh, who makes high quality products. And what we've got that I purchased uh, is this. This is a slip. Uh, he made this with the turquoise thread and the turquoise uh, painting there, sage grouse leather. His punch work, guys, these are a hundred bucks. But the work he does on these, he's, uh, by the way, you know, he, um, I purchased this and he sent me like, process pictures which i thought was really cool and even the video of the antiquing process i thought that was really cool touch to um uh you know of ordering something from him now you can see my pioneer jack is in here now um the way these work 
Uh, well, I've pushed it down in there a little too far, but you just squeeze it and it comes out. You can see the beautiful leather down in there. Just gorgeous. Uh, there's my Pioneer Jack. I had this made for this knife specifically. Fits like a glove. You can leave a little bit sticking out or push it way down like I did. It's easier to get out if you leave a little bit sticking out. You see, you just squeeze and it comes right out. Fantastic. Now, River said he was going to send me some goodies on top of that. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, there's a couple of things in here. Let's see. Uh, all right. So number one, and he said, um, guys, I may keep one of these and I may give one of these away, but these are little trays. Uh, and this is what he's calling the homestead uh, grid catch all tray. And I think this is, I can't remember who he said, wait, it might say over here. Uh, name for the innumerable parcels of the American Frontier Homestead is a sturdy and richly textured way to stay organized. This handcrafted tray eclipses all others in quality, durability, and portability. Made from premium 7-ounce uh, Italian Batero leather and grid leather, which is really cool feeling. Antique brass snaps allow Homestead to fold flat to travel. Dimension 7x7. Uh, made in Oregon. Guys, his craftsmanship is unbelievable. I've given away a tray on the channel before, um, and he sent two of these along, and I'm probably going to give one away and keep one for myself. Here's the second one. I don't know. This this uh, this is really cool, but you guys know me. I'll probably give the cooler one away to you guys. This is the Purgatory Skull Print Catch-All Tray. This is... Um, uh, made from premium 7 ounce Butera leather, same stuff, uh, but it's the Purgatory. I think this one is, yeah, Vintage and Traditional Knives is who he uh, teamed up with on this one. I think this is the one we're going to give away, guys, at some point. I'll probably hold on to it for the 13,000 subscriber giveaway that we've been talking about uh, when that happens. But you have, like, embossed skulls in black and blue. Yes, sir, that is cool. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and I'll probably keep this grid one uh, for myself uh, to use. That is super cool. River does fantastic work, and he, uh, this is hand done in Oregon. Um, you just can't beat that, guys. I mean, it's pretty unbelievable. I'm going to put, let's see, I put one of his cards there, and here's the one with the info so you guys can get that. And uh, we're going to be giving these away down the road. So what do you guys think? We've got obviously uh, the leather work. We've got the Monterey Bay Old Guard full size uh, in G10 and 14C. Really cool unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this one. Definitely give me a thumbs up. I'm going to put this guy right back in the pocket. Uh, love the combination. And I think uh, based on the size, it's going to fit other of my Jack Wolf knives too. I think the Pioneer is the one that really uh, is meant to go in it because that's the one I pictured, but I think others would fit in there just nicely as well. So, uh, very, very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell, all the things. Uh, don't forget all of them. Thumbs up, comment, uh, subscribe, and notification bell. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.